the sun's going down, the silicone's drying. I want to get oil in this sometime tonight and maybe move it. But quick, if you want to put a Volvo G80 locker, known as the Gov Bomb to some Chev guys, if you want to put that in a Jeep, there it is. There's a 410 factory Jeep gears. I had everything done, measured, spec, perfect. Now, that came from a 1992 Volvo 940 Turbo, which was a little odd. I thought only the older 240 wagons had them, but that one had it. I got that from uh, Junkyard, Massachusetts. A really good guy brought it across the border for me. I paid 250 bucks for the complete axle. Basically, all I took was the carrier. Just the carrier, and it actually fit Jeep bearings, so that's a no-brainer there. If you're rebuilding the diff, buy new bearings, get everything shimmed and spaced, do it right if you're going to spend any money. And before I forget, one thing I had to modify to put that in to a Jeep Dana 30 is shorten the driver's side axle. And this is what I mean. There's your basic Dana 30 driver's side axle. To get the axle to push into the diff the whole way and not hit the center pin, you take off 3 eighths of an inch. That's off the old shaft. Actually, the one that's in the truck now. This one has to be cut because I tried it and with your hub and your wheel bearing it almost bottoms out but it doesn't want to tighten up and that's why because it's pushing the axle further into the diff than it's supposed to go and that's hitting the center pin that's the fix take three eighths of an inch off that's basically the only modification to put that diff in a 1992 high pinion Dana 30 That's out of a <clears throat> yeah, 92 Cherokee Sport, but it's a high pinion, not a low pinion. I think they fit the same, I'm not sure. You're using different cut gears anyway, so I think that'll fit a high pinion, low pinion also. But there it is, it does work. Uh, this is a 4.3, obviously it's not a Jeep. It's a 4.3 stock Vortec, and in this truck with 35s with 410 gears it works it works a lot of the time when i need it uh as far as rock crawling don't bother don't waste the money that was 250 dollars and it cost probably another i don't know maybe 100 150 dollars to put it in all new seals everything new to basically put it in this diff right it's it's cheaper than a spartan yeah it's cheaper than a true true track or you know any locker but it's got its limits too and the way it works is centrifugal force just like the chevrolet g80s did if i can flick this in here you're gonna see the mechanism of centrifugal force that locks in the axle the way it works <clears throat> the way it's supposed to work is when you're on ice or loose debris if one wheel spins the other one will lock in and i can't turn this tire fast enough to do it with a 35 and phone plus i don't have the front drive shaft in but this works usually the driver's side is the traction tire and the passenger side for some reason is the one that'll kick in I don't like to bark on it a whole lot. I don't know just how tough it is, but when I've had to, it's locked in and it works. To get you out of a mud hole or off of something loose or just to be able to steer a little better around a tight bend, it works. It can be done. It's got a year's use on it. All the backlash and everything has stayed the same. It's clean inside there were no filings uh this truck had i'm gonna go conservative and say about six thousand kilometers put on it last year and that was it and it didn't go far but it never gave me any problems because a lot of that time was spent in rocks in mud in trees and it, it never failed me i liked it I, it was predictable when you got in a hole and it spun a little bit if you just gave it a quick shot of fuel 
it would you could almost hear it click in your head maybe but you could almost hear it click it would lock in and get you where you had to go at least to be able to steer cut another rut and get yourself out of a tight spot so that's it for the diff uh, like I said if you're interested in it there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do it but this is one showing it's been done it's been a year later it still works it's getting new gear oil and a little bit of pausey additive just cuz I don't know I, I know the G80s and the Chevys weren't known to be tough this one had one in the rear had one it's 8.8 .8 back there now um, but I don't know everything's got its limits this is a Dana 30 with 35s with 410s that's as far as I'm going for me it works so there it is spin it around one more time No, nope, just can't spin it fast enough to make it lock right now. But it's in there, it locks, it works. There you go.